Well, good afternoon and welcome to another in thrilling instalment from the uh, from Blackpool. We're uh, just coming up to Gin Square, we're just coming around it now. Uh, I just thought I'd bring you for a drive, I've been for a wander with dogs and uh, I just thought you'd yeah, come for a little drive around Blackpool and just show you what it's like on a bit, bit better day. It's beautiful this afternoon. It's, it's only say nine and a half degrees on car, but it feels a lot warmer. Uh, it's been absolutely lovely for a little wonder this today. So uh, we're just passing the Grand Hotel at the moment. Just on the left hand side. Just before it, that's where, you, where the old Derby Baths used to be. The Ambassador Hotel used to be just up here. They knocked that down a couple of years ago. Uh, it caught fire and got very unsafe. Uh, we're just passing it now on the left. The Strand, that's famous for uh, where Alan Bradley came running across road after Rita and he got knocked over with tram. And then the Imperial Hotel, that's where all the. Uh, there used to be. Uh, Conservative Party used to have the conferences up here and they all used to stay in there. So, uh, yeah. There's quite a few people about today. It's surprising. We had been a Monday, I thought they'd have all gone home. It's, it's nice to see. It's, it's such a lovely day. You really can, you can see the uh, tower coming up here. Still there having a, a bit of fresh air. Coming down to Metropole again, look. Tide's coming in as well. It's I think it, I think it's in about half three, so it's got like about another hour to go. Um, so I don't know. No, it's, it's not. It's not a massive tide today. Yeah, I think what we'll do today, we'll go and uh, we'll drive down the front here and then go and see if Chris Iggy's open and uh, happy days. Uh, we'll drive past there and then come back around and have, just have a little tootle about. So, uh, something a bit different, isn't it? Passes a, a day on, afternoon on as well. Uh, just on to your right, uh, just on the uh, the Tower Headlands, there's still these, well, I don't know what they call them now, is it Odyssey, I think it's, it were called at Christmas. And they're still up, and I don't know what why they've left them up. Uh, it has been said that they didn't know how to take them down, but I don't know whether that's true or not. But they're probably there for next Christmas. But it uh, seems a bit ridiculous, really. But uh, I don't know. They did look good when they were lit up, though, I must admit, at Christmas. Yeah. Harry Ramsden's there, and then we've got this new amusement arcade. I can't believe how much traffic's about, though. It's uh, it's quite surprising. Except for a, a Monday. Yeah, that's that Odyssey thing there. But they've not touched it at all. All they've done is the defence round it. <laughs> Oh, sun's shining off at sea. It's looking really good now. Golden Mile Amusements there, look on the uh, on the left hand side. <laughs> Quite 
not busy. I think it's the best day we've had for a few weeks. It's, it's done no tells but rain and be horrible and grey and oh dear. Enough to get a pip. But, uh, man, it's still black, but it's still alright, isn't it? These worst places to live. I say I don't know whether uh, Chrissy gets open or not today uh, or any other ones you know but, uh, usually they just at the moment they just open in weekends I think uh, so anyway we'll pass them a minute well, we're just coming up to uh, Central Pier now that's a yawn even. It looks like it is. Let's see, but you never know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it says, yeah, it's open. So, yeah. I don't see Land Rover with fancy wheels on. Crikey, somebody's got some money. It's like doing some work on this building here, this uh, Silcox or something. Oh, they've got some scaffolding up and everything. Somebody will ladder up as well, the outside parts. Parts Tempe Bingo. Guys, so busy, I just can't believe it. For, for the season. Now, if I turn, make it left here. Fox, this is Foxhall, this is Foxhall Road. And it's one of the oldest parts in Blackpool. This is Dale Street, the start of uh, where Chris Iggett lives. No, 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 he works here. This is... Yeah. Yeah, he wants to get his legs in a bit, doesn't he? Crikey. We've got a good view at the tower from here today. Blimey. He's got uh, scaffolding up. He's open, look. Well, he's there. Crikey. Yeah. And then uh, we'll turn up here. And we'll, we'll have a look at that new uh, building project they've got on up here. It's uh, this multi story car park that they're doing. Good heavens, they're getting on with that now. Oh, look at that, they've got all floors in there. Look at that massive scissor lift. Wowee. Wowee, wow, wow. And then if we go down here, K Street, we can turn around. Somebody's putting O in front of me, like, okay. I don't think we can go down here, actually. I think I've come down a one-way street. Oh God, it's getting done. At least you can 
antique car park from here. It's quite a good shot, that is. A fancy cement mixer. This is where back of happy days this uh, Bonnie Street. You don't like their opening. Oh I don't know, it might be. Oh yeah, it says it's open. That's happy days, what's it um, cafe and all that. You get a good view of the tower from here now. So, I can't believe how much that uh, That car park's coming on, crikey. Oh, just in front of Coral Island now. Uh, slip up here and I'll turn right here. I come to it often around here. I think I think this is Coronation Street. We can turn right down here. in front of you uh, that's the the car park god it's near that building the, this is all part of the uh, the work that they're doing they're going to be do, doing all that up it's central central picture house i think yeah central picture theater uh, so uh, we'll go back down here and this then will lead us back onto the front entrance to Dale Street again. And the uh, central pier straight in front. Looks like a fire engine there. So there's quite a lot of traffic about today. I'm so, it's really surprised me. I didn't think it'd be as much as this. Yeah. Go 
again, we've got the tower in front of us again. It's, uh, it's certainly standing out well today, that. It's, uh, it's getting ready for a lick of paint, isn't it? Amaryllis are nearly stood straight up, look, seed pods, amaryllis, whatever you want to call them. There's not a lot of traffic, not a lot of wind about. That's looking well now, that old Woolworths clock tower, it really stands out. See, it's had uh, scaffold around it for a long time. Uh, they've took it down now. Well, it's even right time on clock. Crikey. Coral Island there again. The other view of them Odyssey things. stands out all today as well. It's, it's so clear it's just untrue today. But, uh, yeah. That's the wedding building there that's all looks gold. Just on the uh, left hand side. Beach house and tourist information and the wedding chapel that beach house it, the food in there and the drink is superb it really is if you come over it's well worth calling it it's not I mean it's not the cheapest place but oh it is nice and uh, Papa's I've not been in there yet uh, but th that's got a good write-up as well so uh, try and get in before the season fully starts Sorry, not in service. Oh my god, we've got a motorbike here with the noisiest exhaust. Look at that, what a pillock. He, he, he fell off that. They'd be sweeping him up. standing out well again. Nelly Dean's there. Woody's. Hey. traffic today, I can't believe it. I know I keep saying it. It's that bit of sun that brings them out. Claremont to tell there. That's always busy, that place, doesn't matter whether it's in season or not. I know you'll not see it on this, with this little camera, but you can really see uh, Barrow in Furnace today. It's, it's that clear. Then, you know, Cumbrian Hills, Fells and everything. It's, Stands out really well today, but obviously you won't see it with this, with this little camera. Right, here we are back again. Uh, surveying front. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to sign off now, so uh, if, uh, if you like what you've seen and 
it seems that you are doing is I'm getting one or two more subscribers coming, a few more views. I mean, it's only just a bit of crap that I'm doing, but it seems, I don't know, people seem to be uh, enjoying it a little bit. And, uh, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd love your, uh, your company for some more. So, you know, if you like this, please share, subscribe, and uh, give it the thumbs up, which would be lovely. So, uh, I'm going to sign off now, and uh, I'll see you on the next instalment of The Filed Wanderer. Okay then, bye.